Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 4th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, and as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our star, as we did have three pretty sizable solar flares overnight. One reported yesterday in yesterday's update. Two more overnight. Having a look here, the last 48 hours incoming, you'll be able to see that large fiery region on the left side produce an M-class solar flare. Sorry, X-class solar flare, and then it produced an M-class and the Earth-facing equatorial region sunspot produced two M-class flares during the day today. Looking at the last 48 hours, outgoing, large plasma filament dancing around on the southern region of our sun. As well, that noticeable sunspot right in the center disk equatorial region. That's the one that shot off two M-class flares today. Boom and boom. And then that cresting sunspot region here. It was not a named sunspot because it literally grew overnight. Same with the one in the equatorial region. Having a look here at multi-spectrum. The latest events. So those two M-class flares did produce the CME and it's on our way, on its way to our planet we can expect the activity here on Earth to increase over the next 36 to 48 hours. No coronal holes to talk about. If we did, we'd be seeing some big black regions on our sun right now. 171 angstroms showing no coronal holes. Just some very active sunspots in which these numbers are still increasing. Watch for big plasma filaments growing as well. Looking at our solar X-ray flux, still just under C-class range after jumping up to, into an M-class. Proton flux low. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated. Looking at the DRAP absorption map. This was a maximum absorption. And that was over the Caribbean throughout the day today. And then again off the west coast of North America, where we did see a 4.2 sizable earthquake off the coast of California. Looking here at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing the CME blast from the solar flares today. And it looks like they will be heading right towards us, most likely arriving 7th to the 9th. May 7th to the 9th, expect that space weather to hit our planet. And as well, the Bebe satellite. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at just over 350 kilometers per second. A couple minor spikes today, but nothing major to report. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 34 Still slightly elevated over the last few days. Highly energetic. Springtime is in the air. Amplitude of 34. Quality of 7.1. Power of 20. Now let's get to earthquakes for the past 24 hours. Brought to you by Walton 3D. Starting out here with the largest to report and most recent. 5.6 earthquake in the Philippines. At a 35 kilometer depth. So Lucatan. Philippines seeing a 5.6 magnitude earthquake today as well earlier today they did see a 5.1 through the region and you can see just east there 5.1 Solomon Islands Panguna Papua New Guinea and then some pretty deep thrust earthquakes today Wallace and Fortuna 4.3 as well as 4.5 Fiji region, 590 kilometer depth. And then increasing activity here through North New Zealand, 4.5 reported. And as well, South 
in the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, a 5.1 earthquake reported there. Quiet across Japan today, only reporting the one here, 4.2 in Furukawaka, 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 Japan, as well, Aleutian Islands, seeing a 4.2, King Cove, Alaska, and here is that 4.2, Ferndale, California, North America, still pretty quiet, no swarms to talk about, and no notable earthquakes. Small swarm starting here, actually, in Texas, Toya, Texas, seen about four earthquakes in the region today. Quiet through the Caribbean plate and central into Cocos. And look at South America. Activity coming back. Sizable 5.2 there. Valparaiso, Chile. As well as 5.1 in Ligua, Chile. And a 4.5 there, Peru. 4.2 here reported Greece. That was noted, that region today, in the volcanic activity report. If you haven't seen that yet, please do. This is where I show all of the active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Give you a quick look here at the last seven days for shakers across our planet. Much love, everybody, and please just have a plan. You never know when you're going to need emergency supplies. Have a go bag ready. Have a safety plan in effect for your family for power outages, fires, tornadoes, earthquakes, tsunamis. Just be ready. Our world is changing quickly, and it can change in the blink of an eye. So again, thanks for staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Now let's get into weather here, showing satellite imagery over Texas, and as well Nebraska, Oklahoma, some pretty intense weather still brewing today, and will continue over the next few days with another low. You can see that grinding North of Colorado, that's the big Colorado low moving in. And we've got tornado watches and warnings across Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Kansas. Look at the size of this system. Very cool air coming from this Colorado low. And of course, strong high pressure ridge, warm Gulf air being pumped into it. And look at the size of these cloud tops. Very dangerous storms, so heads up, my American friends. Severe weather all night long tonight. Having a look here at the most recent tornado watches going out. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Amarillo, Texas, Norman, Oklahoma, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Right down into Lubbock, Texas as well. Midland, Odessa, Texas, as well, Austin, Texas. Tornado watches in effect. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody possibly affected by this extreme weather heading through. Now let's give a quick look here at the forecast for the next few days. Starting out here overlooking this Colorado low as it develops and starts heading northeastward. Pretty strong spring storm heading into Ontario. Winter storm for Alberta and pretty intense wet storm heading into Washington and BC coastline this week. Three major systems to talk about. Number two will be bringing snow, and as well, number three will be heading out long range into the Atlantic. Overlooking Europe, only major low pressure system here heading through Italy. Low pressure center racing through the Mediterranean, gonna bring unstable air mass. Daily evaporation rains across Africa. Still have a tropical cyclone here forecast for India. This is the most recent forecast. Please share with your friends and family from around the world. Leave you here looking at Australia for weather and as well over Indonesia, Malaysia. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with your Daily Do. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Daily Do. Bye-bye now. Much love and prayers for humanity. Prayers for Manitoba. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.